It's now almost seven years since Bob Levinson disappeared while in Iran. He's now, in the eyes of some, the longest held American hostage in history. His family last received a video of him back in 2011. I am not in very good health. I am running very quickly out of diabetes medicine. I have been treated well, but I need the help of the United States government. But in the past almost three years, there's been nothing to confirm he's still alive. He was on a business trip to the Iranian island of Kish when he disappeared. But now the Associated Press News Agency is reporting that Levinson was in Iran on an unapproved intelligence mission for the CIA. When asked about him during a trip to Israel, John Kerry wouldn't confirm he was spying, but urged Iran to provide more details of his whereabouts. And, uh, I don't have any comment whatsoever on uh, uh, the, 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 the condition uh, with respect to employment or any other issue, except to say to you that we have raised the issue of his whereabouts on a continuous basis. I have personally raised it uh, with the Iranians in the course of our discussions and we will continue to try to seek his release and return to the United States. The news agency says the CIA paid the Levinson family $2.5 million to avoid a public lawsuit and disciplined 10 analysts. In a news statement, the Levinson family say, Bob is a courageous man who has dedicated himself, including risking his own life, in service to the U.S. government. But the U.S. government has failed to make saving this good man's life the priority it should be. There are those in the U.S. government who have done their duty in their efforts to find Bob, but there are those who have not. It is time for the U.S. government to step up and take care of one of its own. After nearly seven years, our family should not be struggling to get through each day without this wonderful, caring man that we love so much. The Iranians insist they do not know where Bob Levinson is and there's no evidence he's in the country. The video of him was sent from a Pakistani internet cafe, but then the trail goes cold. The U.S. offered a million dollars for information for his safe return, but even that has taken investigators no closer to finding him. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.